Oh, dog. <laughs> Woo. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're out on the John boat with row rigging for the first time. Welcome back to the channel. I got to plug in our power, otherwise we're not going to be able to use this motor today. So, this is like the only power. This one little battery. I tried to charge it a little bit before we got out here. Oh my gosh. I got some with not too much line on there either, but you know. Well, we should have thought this one out, y'all. Both of us need to actually re-spool, so maybe we'll just like hightail it over to where I think there's going to be less wind and take care of business. In fact, that's what we'll do. Let's show, let's show Roger full speed on this thing. Oh, she cooks, man. Uh, probably. Two to four. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. Not as breezy, little shade. We can re-rig. All right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna kind of work in here slow. This could be a, an ideal spot for some fishies, so I don't want to be too loud creeping in here, but maybe just pin ourselves up against one of these columns and get to work. Roger's already got his stuff dialed in. He's practically spooled. Honestly, the uh, it's like the hubs or whatever, we need to get those taken care of too, because it seems like the bearings need to be replaced on it. So, you know, me going 75 down the highway probably isn't ideal, but. I need to figure out what I'm gonna start throwing first. Just made the first cast, man. I left the uh, Corrado with the muscle rod at home, so I'm throwing this jig on a seven foot medium heavy, which perfectly fine, but I do like the seven five extra fast right there. So we're casting in the shade of the area we were just over the top of with the boat. Not expecting a bite, but just in case there's a little something in the corner. Otherwise, I think we're gonna get started and work down these columns. The concrete mixed with some trees, some shade, a lot of juicy juice in this area, but this is a little bit deeper if I'm not mistaken. So we got some shallows over yonder and some stuff that most bank fishermen probably aren't gonna be hitting as much right here. Less access. So hopefully we can get on them today on the John boat, man, and not ding it up too much because these things right here are like icebergs. They're blowing up over there. Are they really? Yeah. Roger says he sees them blowing up. So that means little bait fish are probably getting chased, man. Full speed ahead. If you wanna keep all your stuff back there with you after you start fishing, you can, or you can like put everything up here except for the one you're fishing with. Just whatever you think is best once you get going. But yeah, you're not messing around. You're going straight for the, the tiny clash, is that? I need to get a K9. We don't have any of the... Nope, that's the only one we, we don't have. I'm going to end up flipping us around. That way I can like hold us against the wind since we ain't got no spot lock. Oh. No! Is that a bite? Uh, yeah, but I think it might have been bluegill because it was a couple. That's why I gave it a second because I'm like, I'm feeling it out. I don't know if this is a bass. It didn't like take it and run. It was just yeah. like doot, doot, doot. Well, that's good though. Oh, by the way, we're just checking our crypto portfolio out here on the boat with you guys today. Uh, I asked if I, I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to make a Dogecoin video. I was contemplating putting like almost, uh, well, I, well, I'm not going to tell you the dollar amount because I might still do it, but I was contemplating investing like a month's salary into Dogecoin. Would you guys watch a video of me talking about Dogecoin? <laughs> Everybody else is. My average cost is 37 cents since I bought quite a bit at 39 cents this morning. Should I just make 45 bucks and quit my crypto career? Anyways, I'm gonna close this app and tie some more stuff on. I think the Texas rig is what I'm going with. What? There's no way that's a boat. That's a boat. Never have I seen that. What is happening? Dude, whose boat is that? Whose boat? What? Is it free? <laughs> Maybe they've got waypoints. <laughs> Maybe there's electronics on there. <laughs> Y'all, we're just coming up on uh, like an abandoned, it's like V hole with a tapered note. It looks like a bass boat. This is so weird. It's not, I don't think it's even tied up, dude. I think it's literally just left no, here. not, because it was over there. Really? Yeah, whenever I saw it, but I was like, that can't be a boat. That's like some like little dock. Dude, what if we put the motor on it? It's tagged and registered. It has nothing. It's like stripped. Somebody just left it here. Oh, it's like sinking. Dude, it's like a freaking fiberglass John boat over here. What is this? There's a huge cutout right there. Dual console. Dude, somebody just stripped this thing and Live left wheels. it out here. <laughs> Live wheels. Laser? Sazer? Laser boats? Jazer? Jazzer boats? Jazzer. Maybe Jazzer. Free boat, local pickup, easy what fix. <laughs> what did we just find, dude? Okay, I think we better get out of here. Bank fishing was a little slow today with Roger, so I'm sorry. Kayak, I'm sorry. John boat fishing, this is all new to us, man. We got the bass boat, the kayaks. Let us know what content is your favorite, by the way. Uh, probably content where we actually catch fish. So Roger and I are gonna hit the banks now. We're loading up the John boat. We got about an hour and a half before sunset. So stick around, man. We're about to get this thing loaded up and make it over that way. Yep. Is that I how it's supposed to be? No, it's not, but um, good question. Yo, it's not quite lined up properly, as high as it should be, but it's because it's not on the trailer right, so I'm gonna adjust this right here. It's pretty light back here. Yep. And then you'll see on the bottom, see it lines up with these two? Yeah. They stay just inside of that, like oh, that. 
So there now, if I crank this, it should work a little bit better. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh yeah, the rods. Probably a good idea. All right, we're out of here. Whew, all right, just rolled up, parked parallel. A little tight spot for the John boat. Those breathable long sleeves are perfect for when the sun's beating down on you, but now that things are cooling off, get us a nice little comfortable Carl's bait and tackle action. This is about to get good. Sunset bite. I think I'm just going straight Texas rig. 20 pound fluorocarbon. Gonna have to lift the fish up off of this ledge if we catch them. Should be a fun time. First cast T rig. Let's go. Oh, there he is. Got us one. First one of the night, green pumpkin purple. Little guy, but they are hanging out in the grass. Let them go. See you, bud. Fishing all day on the John boat. Sometimes you just gotta switch the body of water, man. It's uh, it's like that sometimes. Got skunked, fishing the whole place. Come over here, change the bodies of water. Fish are acting completely different. A lot of thick grass right here though. Perfect for the T rig, working weedless, throwing it on a go-to rod. A muscle rod would probably be a little bit better just because I'm lifting them up this big ledge. It's got the first one. Oh, it was small. <laughs> yeah, I mean like that's, usually when I come here, especially if it's sun sunset, I'm thinking. Oh, yep. Oh, I saw that. Yep, little guy. Where's the bigs? <laughs> like, wait a minute. There we go, that one's two. Ah, uh, maybe a pound and a half. Tough to say, he's got a little spot on him too. How are you guys? How are you? Good. See, I'm gonna put him back in the water. I'm gonna let him go. Say hi. I'm gonna let him go swim, okay? Yeah, of course. See you, bud. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's three. All you gotta do is sell your John boat. <laughs> Selling the John boat is BS. About to have to break this craw down one section, y'all. It's caught me a few and it's starting to rip up there at the top. So break one section off. These are the, the four-aught hammer hooks. And you can usually get away with uh, putting that craw on there. It usually still fits on the hook. See that? It's gonna be just the right size. Now it's gonna sit on that shelf nice and easy again. And I get it right in the end of that craw. And I can usually text pose the hook nicely in a new spot right there so it's not torn up in the plastic. And bada bing, bada boom. Crack and crawl, V2. Oh, he got, yeah, I saw, I saw him go to the surface and he, did, he grabbed it on the run. <laughs> he was like four feet out that one. I don't know how I'm getting these fish and Roger's not getting bites, dude. We're doing the same thing, the exact same thing. We're literally both throwing the green pumpkin purple crack and crawl. Now mine is reduced to a Ned rig. He got the pinchers, which is fine. So we showed you guys how to catch four fish on one bait. Let's go ahead, recycle him, grab another one out of the pocket. I was bringing it in. I was just swimming it in, dude. He ate it on the surface. I saw him flash and whip at it. It was crazy. Good one. Oh, it's not good at all. I thought it was good, dude. He, he took it. That one was further out that time. That's number five. That's the bag, y'all. Five fish, five pound limit. <laughs> Put him in the live well, baby. We rolling up to the tournament. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that might be the biggest one so far, too. <laughs> Roger's on, baby. <laughs> He's looking pretty good. It looks perfect. Oh, God. Got him. There we go. That was a good one. Two and a half to three. <laughs> there we go. Right there in the corner. Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> That's That might be. <laughs> That's a solid two and a half, I'd say. Oh gosh, he's about to flail. Let's put him on the story, I think. Well, man, we went from catching no fish to catching more than we can handle. Thanks to that dude right there. Woo! All right, buddy. Till next time. 10 out of 10. Like if it even just gets deeper right here. Oh! Yes, yes. Yep, oh, oh! Dude, I bet there's one right here. I was like thinking as soon as I get right there, I bet I get one. Fish number seven, maybe? Oh, dude, as soon as I hit the water. Yep. <laughs> I don't even, I literally don't even know what's going on. I think it's just the faith. <laughs> See if I. <laughs> All right, I think that was fish number eight for me, but I know you guys are keeping probably better track. Ooh, all right. All right, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Uh, so today we tried to get it done on the John boat, but we couldn't, but it's okay. Cause we came over here to this spot that Weston showed us and we got on some good fish. Well, Weston did at least. He caught all the numbers, I caught like two. But uh, the Kraken Craw came in clutch. And yeah, it was super fun. Glad to come out here with Weston. And yeah.
Thank you, bro. And be sure to go check out Ro Riggins' page on Instagram for sure. We'll link his socials down in the description. The man only posts photos of big <laughs> catches. Literally, he's got, uh, he'll put us to shame. You know, we show some dinks off every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, you guys are only gonna catch some big stuff over on his page. He's throwing a lot of big swim baits and we're having a lot of fun out in the DFW area. Let us know if you'd like to see us collaborate on some more stuff in the future. Till then, y'all, we'll catch you next time.